pillow. So here we are with the rectangular. I see mirror bags everywhere. But imagine you're gonna show up somewhere like this. It's handmade, oh. which is very important. So basically every handbag is unique. Ah. I mean, representing the same pattern, but everyone is uh, slightly, slightly different. different. And there's a schema of lines of positioning ah. of the glitters. Yes. Beautiful green. We all know I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> After all of this, <laughs> let's look at it again. Pretty, pretty, pretty. After all of this, we need to have a little break and drink a little coffee. Cheers. So today we got a couple of things on the list <laughs> that I want to do. I want to go to Ferragamo because I haven't been there in a while and I just walked past the window display recently. I was like, oh my god, so many beautiful bags. Um, then we're going to go to Lampu, which is a pre love shop here in London. They recently opened like a physical boutique as well. They're from Italy originally. And then we're going to go to Cellier because they opened a second shop. Yes, in London. <laughs> That's the plan for today. Look at all these beautiful flower arrangements everywhere and so many people out and about. So yeah, the sun is not there today, but hey, we're going to have a great day anyway. Let me show you something. Oh, it's so crowded here. By the way, I have so many breakouts. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really bad, but ooh, okay, it's too many people ahead of me, but I wanted to show you this. Huh? Flowers everywhere, guys. That's Chelsea. And there we are, guys. Lampu. Look at this beautiful decoration. It's kind of autumn. -y. Quick look as well um, in terms of what's in the window display because I can already see uh, so much eye candy and so many special pieces. So, yeah, quick look. I think I've seen this one months ago when I came here as well. I love that Mio Mio bag. It's really, really cool. There we have a multi color. Um, Louis Vuitton pochette. I don't know if that's an accessoire. That bag had a different name, but yeah, pretty. And here we have some Prada bags that look like towels. Sometimes you're just not successful. Uh, Lampu didn't want me to film, unfortunately. But hey, you know, we are not losing our good vibes. <laughs> So we're just gonna go to the next shop and look how beautiful London is. Ferragamo, it's not called Salvatore Ferragamo anymore, it's Ferragamo now that Maximilian Davis took over. And look at this. I've recently learned that the Wonder Bag, this one, was actually originally released in 1988, I think. YSAs are not here, unfortunately, today, Julia or Anna, but they have so many beautiful and look at this, this is a new little baby uh, classic Ancini bag, really really cool. Mirrored bags, we see them everywhere. We're gonna see them at Bulgari very soon for my event, it's coming up, I'm very excited. This is the Wonder Bag, it came out in 1988 and they've reissued it now. This is the classic one that was, you know, there years ago. And now they're making them a little bit more modern, can you see that? how sparkly and beautiful they are. I really want to see the orange one, if they still have it. So they also brought out this kind of green, bluish striped version. Really cool, little cubes. More wonder bags. These are the more vertical ones. Ooh, this is entirely new. That's the rectangular ones. More mirrored pieces. Mirrored and metallic bags are gonna be so in this year, just like denim. More wonder bags, look at these, in all kinds of shapes and sizes, I will have to show you. And lots of totes. Which one would you pick for a beach holiday? God, and can we see that? Look how, this is my hand, <laughs> how teeny tiny these bags are. And wow, remember the pink one in crocodile that I was thinking of getting? They're actually, two times a year are gonna be on sale, um, which is incredible because I think they're around 14K and you can get them up to 10K during the sale. Hello, so here we are with the rectangular, uh, horizontal kind of shaped wonder bag. I love it, this is not ruthenium hardware, this is more like so black hardware um, on a pink bag, pretty cool. What do we think? I love it. I don't know why, the more I look at it, the more I like this kind of shape, especially now knowing that there's an actual history behind the bags. It's almost like a padded, shiny box calf leather. This bag has silver hardware, ruthenium hardware. Can we see that? It's like matte silver, brushed silver. And you guys know I don't like silver, but 
This one, I think is pretty cool. Look at this one as well. That's new as well, huh? Yeah, those are the latest that we received. Okay. In, uh, the blue especially. Yeah. Uh, and we have it in red as well. I have just recently found out, no, I haven't seen the red, but I found out it was like a reissue, right? It was from 1988 or something Congrats, and they brought it back, so. Do you know, um, in honor of um, Salvatore's program as well, Vanda, oh. the previous one, the original one, it was uh -huh. more like a, this shape in the black. Ah. Oh. Kind of yeah, no, oh, that's incredible. I love it. It's so glittery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so what do you think about this? I mean, I know I got my long bar back recently in the shimmery uh, look, <laughs> my hobo cat top handle bag. Um, but you know, this is an interesting wonder as well. I didn't know that that Wanda was the wife of Ferragamo, and this bag was a an, an, an homage basically, you know, to her. That's even nicer of a backstory for a bag like this. What do we think? Oh, look at these. Which one would you pick? You know, if it comes to a Wanda bag, they're all gorgeous. I like this new style as well. What about this mirror bag? I see, oops, let me zoom out. <laughs> I see mirror bags everywhere. Like I said, Bulgari is coming out with some mirrored bags as well for spring, summer 2023. It's pretty something, huh? I feel like I like the silver hardware in these bags and that's rare. These are new, right? Yes. I've got like two in the I classic shape. Okay, in the other yeah. size. Mm -hmm. This is so gorgeous. Uh, in, the, in the regular, like, small size and white and black, and I love them, but this is <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> Guys, this is the newest Gancini uh, in the mini size. Do we like it? Look at this. I don't know what fits in there. I have to see if there's a divider in it actually or not. That is so cute. Can you open it? Can we have a look yes, inside? It even got feet! <laughs> oh wow, that is so cute. Can you believe that? The attention to detail. Guys, can't believe this. <laughs> I think this is honestly the tiniest bag I've ever tried on. It comes with a beautiful like uh, strap, so I'm gonna show you how it looks like. But imagine you're gonna show up somewhere like this. <laughs> well, I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Guys, what about this large shape? Hi. <laughs> I, I I prefer the small one, I have to say. I really think I prefer the small size. This is a beautiful, that goes well with my dress today. <laughs> it's a beautiful, and this one actually has gold hardware. Most of them have a silver hardware. So this is very classic, classic. Again, I think I prefer the small size. I mean, imagine how modern this bag looks, even though, you know, everything is like a cycle, right? Everything comes back. 1988 <laughs> they came out with us and now so so many years later so 34 35 years later um, they are bringing this bag back and again it looks modern and fresh and perfect so i'm actually here with eduardo yeah. the store manager <laughs> so nice to meet you nice to meet you so we were just talking about the amazing colors and you know this one is still stuck in my mind it's amazing it's like a box cuff but padded right and then it's so shiny the leather absolutely gorgeous we're gonna have a look at that in a second you want to tell me anything about the this? The is handmade, oh. which is very important. So basically every handbag is unique. Ah. I mean, representing the same pattern, but every one is a slightly, slightly different, different. Uh, in comparison with the other ones. Oh, yeah. wow. That so this is, is the one other unique, uh, uniqueness factor of this authentic and uh, amazing handbag. Yes. Of course, we have the strap inside as well, uh, uh -huh. too. Yeah. So it makes it very practical. The original one had a strap that wasn't detachable. So of course, nowadays that they brought it back, it's so good that they made yeah. it detachable. That's, and oh, and it's beautiful it's orange. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is incredible. I love box cuff leather when it's so shiny. Indeed. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we have. And this is a top handle bag, which is another uh, item uh, very iconic for the brand mm -hmm. in Austria, yeah. which is making it more precious. Yes. And as you can see here, we have space enough for a daily use mm -hmm. handbag, of course, with a strap inside Whoops. too. I got two of the classic Gancini top handle bags, so don't tempt Lovely me with ones. another one. <laughs> and of course, the peculiarity of this is the perfection of the leather. Yes. As you can see, it's, it's a gorgeous. very delicate one yeah. in order to be created. Ostrich and is so And this is the uniqueness of this uh, leather itself. Yeah. Oh, and do we have another color on the inside? That yes. is gorgeous, a nice contrast, a beautiful gray. 
really, really stunning. Comes yeah. with a strap as well, guys. The as well. Of yeah. course, in Austria too. Yeah. So really the nice. characteristic of the pattern is uh, recalled yeah. on the swap too. I've never been a fan of orange, but you're convincing me. <laughs> this is a very colorful and nice one for the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, I love the way you could match it with you know dresses in contrast, might yes. it be uh, white or uh, cream color or mm -hmm. blue for you know a more elegant. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and we've just been speaking about this modern version of the yeah. Wanda. I, I mean, you have to see these bags in person, I think, on camera. It doesn't even come across how beautiful it sparkles. Really stunning. And this is a new model as well, isn't it? It is. Which Prisma bag is very... Um, what's the name of it? Prisma. Prisma, okay. The shape is a trapezium, as you can see, which is ah. making it very interesting for the space inside, because yes. apparently is... Uh, um, Apparently, again, mm -hmm. I want to underline it. Yes, is a shoulder bag very, very small, but actually, there's space enough in here to storage oh, yes. and carry all your belongings. So, right. the good thing is, with these bags, obviously, you have a divider in the middle, so you right. look a bit more restricted. Exactly. But I think this one fits a lot, indeed. So, you yeah. have full visibility as soon as you open it for seeing everything is carried inside, mm -hmm. and also, there's uh, another. Um, case here, mm. let's say a private one for mm. document or a yes. phone or passport if you wish And this to is beautiful crocodile. It is. Then if you look at the ornament here, we have the new lettering Ferragamo mm. yes. and from another perspective you will see the Gancino mm. in a oh, unique way to see it, yes. which is the icon of our brand. A hidden basically. little detail. Details. And I love that it's silver and gold beautiful. because people nowadays right, love to mix exactly. the hardware. So what's the price for the crocodile beauty? The price of this this is more than 17,000 pounds. Yeah, that's amazing. I think these are around 40, no? Uh, yes, correct. Yes. Ostrich so are around uh, 8 to 9,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. We'll see the prices precisely. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, guys. Which one would you pick? Would you go for a more modern version of the new Ferragamo bags? Would you go for a classic Gancini or for a wonder? Let us know. And there's a schema of lines of positioning oh. of the glitters. Yes. So everything is handmade yeah. and it looks very homogeneous, not a random location yes. uh, positioning, but yeah. again, this is the peculiarity of this. And people are bag. always very interested about the after after sale care. So, you know, whenever nobody needs to worry if a stone would ever come off, right, you would Absolutely. always take Absolutely. care of it. So Absolutely. I really like it. Is a must. Yes. I know, just like my sunglasses here. Yeah. <laughs> So that here we have the Prisma so bag in a smaller version mm -hmm. with the crossbody strap. And oh, again, wow. the size is perfect for a yes. wallet and also a phone. Oh, just, and we have a little slip Bunch pocket. Of keys, yeah. Yes. And also on the back. Yeah. So you have one other private case on the back. Amazing, here. guys. We have to try this on. That's such a beautiful blue. Okay, guys. So this is the small Prisma bag. And I think it's a really good size. You know, you can take it from day to night. It actually comes with a strap, which the big one doesn't. But I think with a big one, you don't really need it because you can actually put it on your shoulder. This one, you can just wear, you know, in your hand, on the crook of your arm, or like this. So the strap is adjustable, which we always really like, of course. And <laughs> so that's, yeah, the look. Of course, you can wear it crossbody. You can make it shorter, just wear it as a shoulder strap. It's very nice, neutral color. Um, very understated. I mean, quiet luxury style, and luxury is the thing at the moment, right? So I think that's a perfect bag if you want to go with that quiet luxury trend. Just look at the crocodile skin. It is perfection. We talked about this one earlier, guys. That's a beautiful color. I mean, orange has never been my favorite. Like I've always, everybody who knows me knows that, but it's gorgeous. I think it's a really, really nice bag. Uh -huh. small yeah. So we got the blue, we got the silver, silver and the exact, red. Exactly. exactly. Gorgeous, guys. Really, really stunning. Let's try it on as well. Okay. Again, you have to come and try these bags on and see them in reality because they are way more sparkly um, in, the, in the daylight. But you can't really see it on screen, so make sure that you definitely come in and try them on. Just style-wise, I love yeah. these <laughs> with the Ferragamo logo. It's incredible. Bye. 
yeah. of the heel is basically depending on the on the size of the loop, yeah. Size of the ganchito. Mm. So as you can see, we have uh, heel 11 centimeters and a uh -huh. half, and this oh. is seven centimeters. Okay. This is one of our iconic oh. as well. Wow, and with a little twilly, with a yeah, little scarf, that's really it. gorgeous. Mask. And then mm -hmm. it help. This helps to uh, create more matching combinations, and so yes. now you can use this color for shoes, or black, mm -hmm. or red. Amazing. Oh, Let's try this. This is a very nice neutral ostrich bag. Which one do you prefer? Like a popping color, like the orange, or would you go for more understated, again, silent luxury color? Guys, after all of this, <laughs> let's look at it again. Pretty, pretty, pretty. After all of this, we need to have a little break and drink a little coffee. Cheers. While we're here, why not uh, try this one on as well? I really like it. Beautiful green. We all know I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> and guys, look at these. That is some leather work, huh? This is beautiful. There we've got a mirror. This is, is this a studio bag? Yes, I think this is a studio bag. Um, very special version of it. And a red crocodile ganchini bag. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of eye candy today. Guys, it is always so nice to meet such lovely people and like the team at Ferragamo, you know, they are the best. And always, if you're in London, make sure that you're gonna go to Sloan Street and visit them. Of course, they have a shop in Bond Street as well, in Westfield, but you know, they're lovely anywhere. But guys, <laughs> we got something to unbox. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned. Let me know what you guess I got. It's something very special. We got a bug. Here yeah, the reflection is better. Okay, let's have a quick stop at Cellier and see what's new. Okay guys, so let's see what's new at Cellier. It's always so exciting. They have way more, you know, you can always check out their website to see um, all the beautiful bags they have. Look at this, they already have a Chanel 22 in the mini size in like silver ruthenium hardware. Can't believe that. It's probably really difficult to get it in store. You can get it here immediately. Then we have a Chanel 19, a vintage jumbo. Lots of little Chanel bags. Look, a so pink one. <laughs> a vanity case, silver. Like all the colors. This is a rainbow of Chanel bags, isn't it? What do you think? And one of these really expensive, rare, Four by four <laughs> bag. So we have, what do we have here? Boy, a Gabriel, a Reissue and a classic. They are super expensive. Like even in the boutique, they cost like 40K or something. A vintage, look at this. This is the real gold plated hardware. Can't find this quality here anymore nowadays. And of course they have MS bags as well. Um, always check out the website before you come here because, you know, they can bring up so many more bags. Look at this little floof, I'm just getting a coffee, but <gasps> this is the cutest floof ever. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys, yeah, that was it for today. I would say it was very successful. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same. Ooh luxury disease yes we do and i see you again soon and let me know which bag you preferred and what you guessed i got okay see you soon bye now we celebrate with a little lobster roll and a burger are you excited for this Schnuggle? i'm more excited about my burger <laughs> and of course we need a little bit of greens right you're all about healthy yeah